Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com, and you can follow me on Twitter, CameronMCNZ. Right now, I wanted to talk to you about how you can undo your Git commits. Now, be forewarned, there is no undo command in Git. You've got revert, you've got reset, but there's no undo command. And so, if you're talking about undo, my first question is to you, what do you mean? And if I can figure out what you mean, then I can tell you what command to use. Now, I'll tell you, I'll explain here how both of these commands, revert and reset, work, and hopefully you can figure out from there which scenario meets your needs the best. To demonstrate the different undo opportunities you've got with Git, I'm gonna have to create a repository and put a couple of commits in it. So I'm just gonna do a Git in it right off the bat. And then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do three commits right away. So I'm gonna add a file called alpha.html with the word Alice in it, do a git add, and then do a git commit saying, hey, this is the very first commit. Okay, now stick around. I'm just gonna do this a couple more times. So I need a commit history. So I've got the beta.html file with the word Becky in it. and I'm going to put both the git add and the git commit on the same line and I'm going to add a, another one called charlie.html and then once again just do the git add and the git commit. So you get the idea that I've got three commits. Each commit had a different file in it, alpha, beta, charlie. And if you look at the ref log, you'll notice that, yeah, we've got three commits. First commit one file, second commit two files, third commit three files. So let's say you wanted to undo a commit. Now, say it's that commit you want to undo. What do you mean by that? Do you mean you want to kind of undo everything up until that point, which would really be resetting on this? Or do you just want to get rid of the file that was part of that commit, right? So part of that commit, that second commit, was the addition of the beta.html file. So if you want to undo that commit, really what you're saying is that you want to get rid of all of the files in that commit. So how would you do that? Well, you do it like this. You say git revert, and then you provide the name of that particular commit. So notice right now in my undo examples folder, I got the alpha, beta, and charlie.html file this commit added the beta.html file. I'm gonna type that in, a11c44f, <clears throat> click enter. I'm gonna get out of here. The revert happens. Well, now we've reverted the second git commit, and if I do an ls command, you'll notice that I've got the alpha, I've got the charlie, but that beta.html file is removed. So I've undone that commit. That commit has been reverted. And so that beta file is gone. So is that what you mean when you say you want to undo a commit? Because there's no real undo command. You've got the revert command. You know, or do you mean you want to reset to that point in time? You know, so a resetting to this particular commit would mean leaving what was in that commit at that particular time, but removing everything else. So for example, I can also do a git reset, and I can say git reset hard, and specify, in this case, a11c44f. So now I'm doing a hard reset. I'm not doing a revert. Okay, so now it says the head has moved back to A11C44F. So I've done a reset to this particular commit. Now it happens if I ls. Notice that I've got alpha and beta. So by resetting, it takes me back to the state I was after this commit, right? And before the charlie.html file. And so that's sort of the distinction between your revert and your reset. The reset takes you right back to takes you right back to the state of your repository at that commit, whereas the revert just does the one commit. And then I could even do like a git reset and do a git reset hard on 16AA 
six five three and oh sorry I, I got it backwards so that was my third commit so that takes me back to where I was where I had three files as you can see one six a a six five three has three files resetting back to that gives me three files if I reset back to zero one three five Now you notice I've just got one file because that 135 commit was the one that I had when I had just one file in it. So there you go. That's sort of the distinction between git revert and git reset, but it also shows you two different approaches for doing a git commit undo. And there you go. That's how easy it is to undo your commits, whether you use the revert command or you use the reset command, really it's up to you. If you use reset, you probably want to use that dash dash hard switch as well. Anyways, if you have found this interesting, well, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, but also head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there and we've got all sorts of tutorials on Git, GitHub, GitLab, DevOps, software development, methodologies, you name it. And if you're interested in some of my personal antics, well, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ.